I'm gonna show you how to put the full stop wetting front detector together. So the first thing to do is to practice this fitting. It's a bayonet fitting with a lug and a slot. You have to line them up, push it in into the slot and a half turn. I'm gonna heat my little pipe up a bit so it's easy. It's worth doing it outside the funnel because in a minute I'm gonna do that join inside the funnel when I can't see what I'm doing. This is the locking ring, rounded side up. You slip the extension tube through the locking ring, drop it through the middle of the funnel, and now I've got to do this join up. I can't see it, but we know how it works. So you push it together, and then a half turn there. That's locked. So there's an O-ring sitting at the bottom, and the O-ring is sitting uh, tight and making this whole thing waterproof. Now, all we have to do is to add the extensions uh, we can add another one if we need to, but this is certainly enough, I think. And I'm going to drop the floats down the extension tube. One, two, three, four. And the last one has the blue dot on it. That's important because it's exactly the right length. And then I have to put the indicator cap on top. It's the same bayonet fitting. Slip it on, turn it around. And finally, we're gonna put our extraction tube. This is the tube which we remove the sample with. I'm just heating it up and I'm gonna push it over the fitting here. And there we have a wetting front detector ready to go into the ground. just seen us put this wetting front detector together. In fact, when you're inside, it's worth checking you made it properly by pouring some water into it and you're seeing the float go up. And now I'm going to check that there's no leaks either at the green tube or at the base of the funnel and there are no leaks. So this is fine. 